everyone, hope you are well. Today is another exciting housey video. So I have previously done a video with Gumtree on upcycling. Now it's time for a second. Gumtree got in contact again and said that they wanted to do another upcycling video. I was like, hell yeah. And um, so I thought it was actually a, a pretty good timing really because Matthew has decided that he wants to turn the garage into a bit of a man cave as he feels like he has nowhere that is his space. And I was like, whatever, but it is kind of true. So I thought it would be really cool if I got a bit of a head start with upcycling some pieces to go in there So I asked Matthew what kind of thing that he would want and um, I sourced some furniture off Gumtree And I'm gonna show you what I got but also a few different ways to spruce up bits of furniture And um, if you didn't know already Gumtree is like a website where you can literally buy anything You could buy furniture, you could buy electronics, anything that anyone has to sell you can buy on there um, But it's also great for like jobs and cars and any kind of services I'm actually gonna look on Gumtree soon for a gardener this is what the garage looks like at the moment. We are gonna work to clear it out and turn it into a bit more of a social space. But um, we thought we would have a head start with this furniture. So without further ado, this is what I got and this is how I upcycled it. So this is the first thing that I upcycled, which is this old chest, but stay tuned to the end of the video for a special surprise. So I saw a lot of potential in this old chest. I grabbed some rose gold metallic spray and then I put down some newspaper on my driveway to protect my shingles and then I put some tape around the edges to protect the tape and I started to spray this spray is really good and really effective and has a great coverage I thought I'm gonna use this chest as a side table for storage to just put things on um, but I want it to be like a showstopper look how statement it looks now it looks like something from a mega expensive shop look at it I then got this old coffee table which was a bit of a bit meh I mean the wood was a bit mm, yeah, but Mm, a bit boring. Um, so what I did was I grabbed Matthew's Festal Sander, which is really, really crazy and scary, and I sanded the top of the table as I thought that that would get the most wear and needed, you know, the most attention. You can sand the whole thing, that's probably a good idea. And then you get this really good chalky paint. I got this really amazing chalky paint. As you can see, I was gonna do stripes, but there was an uneven amount of slats, so it would have looked strange. So I ended up just painting the whole thing black. Um, and then I got the white and did the underneath bit so we've got like a really good contrast monochrome look I took the handle off the drawer so I could then paint the drawers and um, painted them white as well um, obviously I'm gonna put the handle back on it once it's all dry and once it was dry I then did another coat of paint as you should do as you know as many as you can and this is what it looks like um, I think it looks very very trendy on trend very monochrome um, very cool one would say definitely better than before. I then got a bookcase and I wanted to wallpaper the back so we laid down a dust sheet on the thingy on the driveway to protect it and then we got some plywood because the back of this bookcase wasn't flat we got some plywood from B&Q and we then nailed some we nailed it, nailed it to the back and then that would enable me to have a good surface to use for sticking. So this is my adhesive, this is my wallpaper. I then sort of put the wallpaper in it to get this size. Um, it's like wallpapering a wall but a ton harder, a lot more awkward. And then I put the adhesive down. So this adhesive, it takes a while to get tacky so you've got time to play with. I then put it down and then I used this spatula thing and a Stanley knife to cut it um, and then I could like stick it down properly. But then it was time to put in the shelves um, that was so easy and it didn't take long at all to do this but it's completely changed the look of the bookcase it's just given it tons more personality and I'm really chuffed with this one and then I have these lamps which I got as a pair I think they were new which is great um, but I took the shades off and the stickers off it and then I grabbed some more spray in this black and then I just sprayed them I just sprayed them black all over because I don't really like wood. So yeah, and then I added a nice Edison bulb, a really cool trendy arty one, and it looks really, really cool, I think. I think it looks like a really expensive lamp that I bought from a really expensive shop, but it's not because I made it. There is one more item that I upcycled, and you can win it. You can win it. To win this incredible rose gold metal industrial lamp which I vavoomed. It was black and I sprayed it with this incredible rose gold metal spray and then I also 
finished it off with this old school Edison style bulb. All you need to do to win this masterpiece that I've made. Take a picture of something that you've bought off Gumtree and hashtag got it on Gumtree HA. Post it on Instagram or Twitter or even post it on the Gumtree Facebook wall and you could win a chance of winning something that I've made. So yeah guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you learned a few things, a few little methods. Have a good day. Bye.